All right, you guys, I'm shooting on my Sony A7R5. All right, I just got it in the mail. It's pretty dope. Let me know in the comment section, is this quality clear, crystal clear? Let me know in the comment section below. You already know, Niner gang, we here. Stay tuned. all right you guys so first things first what you want to do is you want to comb the hair out first before cutting this way it lifts the hair off the scalp that way it makes it more easier for the hair to run into the teeth of the blade All right, you guys, so cutting down my client's hair, my client didn't really know what guard to use. Um, he just comes in and basically lets me do me. But what I could suggest to you guys is basically start with a higher guard first and work your way down, all right? So I decided to go with a four guard um, and I'm closing the lever. I'll close the lever eventually. I have it open just for safety purposes to see how much it cuts off. Then I'm gonna close the lever and just go with the grain of my client's pattern. So next, it's time to set in my bald line. I'm gonna set in this bald line real low using my Babyliss FX trimmers. And I'm basically gonna do a lineup around his entire head. I'm not bringing up the bald line any higher. I'm just basically lining him up all the way around to keep this fade as low as possible. Next, switching to my Stylecraft Instinct Clippers, I'm gonna put on the one guard with the lever fully open, go up about a half inch, making sure I scoop out as I go around. So the way I do it is I'm not gonna worry about that bulk on the top. I'm just gonna set in my lever open half of what I set in with the one guard open, all right? So just go up half and basically go all the way around, making sure you go over it multiple times so it's at that lever open length. Switching to the zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Now keep in mind, I'm not really paying attention to that bulk on top, all right? I'm gonna deal with that later. I'm just trying to get the fade, um, you know, as low as possible. So once I got that knocked out, 
then I'll go and pay attention to the bulk. So how I'm going to attack the bulk on the top, I'm basically going to clip her over comb and I'm going to set my comb at a 45 degree angle, basically blending the one guard to the top. Also remember cutting from left to right takes off the bulk, cutting up and down blends into the bulk. Uh, Stylecraft Instinct Clippers they come with a 1.5 guard and that is the perfect guard to blend into the bulk so I'm using that and basically flicking out as I go. to work my way back down with the same guards that I use just cleaning up those areas so I got my one guard with the lever open and in a flick out motion I'm flicking out that area between the one and the 1 1.5 the zero guard with the lever fully closed I'm using my corners cleaning up that middle line Next, with the lever fully closed, using my Andis Coilless Masters, I'm flicking out that bottom line. Now, the reason why I chose to use my Masters on the bottom line is because those Instinct Clippers do get hot, you know, if you leave them on. So you have to really strategize uh, the way you turn them off and turn them on while you're cutting. Uh, but still, I find it to still be hot, even though I move fairly quickly while I cut. I'm basically gonna take that down to a length where when I do line it up um, it could be more crispy instead of too bulky so right now I got my three guard on and I'm going about an inch width all the way up 
and uh, bringing it down. Then I'm going to put my two guard on and go right at the hairline at the tip to bring that part down a little further. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like God did. You too, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production is on a beat. That's my brother, man. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.